Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and welcome back to Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. We're going to be doing Session 2 today. Here's the old man with a sinister chair. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. We have to tap on him. I always forget that. Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery! It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin Session 2 of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP? Okay, so where were we? Oh right, now I remember. You got a burdensome book known as the Megatome. You woke the deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingi Toth. What a creep, am I right? It is a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. One. A sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatome, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other esoteric material. 2. Strange sylvan sprites, sources of sorcery, slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows. Seek their subtle sonorous spews. 3. A sorcerer who can locate, summon, and tame the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon will possess the ability to work miracles. Confused? Excellent. Keep calm and carry on. Here we go. None of that really made sense, but that's okay. We back, baby. Okay, so we're just gonna head to the hut. Pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Oops, I didn't mean to go there. Uh, can I open this book yet? No. girl known as Same was feeling the woe. Oh. Ever since the storm began, Same had seen the sonorous spumes of sylvan sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe the three sylvan sprites could help lift the storm? She asked us to investigate the sonorous spume bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. Same spoke of a sprite in a meadow nearby and yet another sprite in a nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. Same told us to seek the sonorous fumes of these three sylvan sprites and send them skyward with the song of sorcery. Huh? So much S. The woodsman known as Longfella had given up on his wood chopping due to the sinister storm. Logfella reminded us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we had retrieved the megatome from beneath Mengita. Was Logfella not so subtly suggesting that maybe we ought to try to do something to lift the storm? What's this again? Inside the hut, we spied a little round something or other above the hearth. Oh, it's a something or other. Wait! We have to pet the dog. Pet. Alright. Oh, it's the creepy man! Hello, sir. It is time to learn the Song of Sorcery, a consciousness expansion technique that reveals a mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the sylvan sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. Okay. Yeah, that guy. Tap, tap. Oh, he glows when I tap on him. Oh, right. 
bringing them in. a song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of a deep water pond. So strange. Where'd the old man go? Okay. Uh. Right, so there was one in a meadow over here, and there was one in a nest box, they said. Oh. There he is. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. The Megatome intercepts linguistic thought transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the Megatome and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Okay. Look for a white triangle in the top right. Tap it, and then equip the Megatome to reveal what is hidden. Right, I do remember this. The dialogue here is pretty funny, too. As you can see, the Megatome gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. Oh. To sing a song of sorcery at any time, tap and hold the Scythian for a moment or two and observe the gathering sorcery aura. Once you've begun to sing a song of sorcery, tap and hold on the sorcery aura and swipe to look around. To stop the song of sorcery at any time, simply double-click the sorcery aura that surrounds the Scythian. The song of sorcery can be understood as psionics. <sighs> There's so much here. I'm not reading this all. Setting includes the comfort, security, and warmth of the room or outdoor environment where the experience will occur. We have found that a relaxed, curious individual is more likely to have a pleasant experience with Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP. Eh. Too much. So is the older stuff on the bottom? We just spoke a sylvan sprite from a deep water pond fringed with lilies beside a stone hut. We are not sure what that means. With a ceaseless storm overhead, we have learned to sing a song of sorcery and summon a slumbering sylvan sprite. Wait, why am I referring to myself in first person? I thought our story was told in second person. Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? So this must be what I was thinking a few seconds ago? So this is the Megatome? It is absorbing linguistic thought transmissions? Am I reading my thoughts as I'm thinking them? Hmm. I, I can't answer any of these questions, and I don't know if it's read from top to bottom or bottom to top. I don't know. Logfella says... Nothing. Smooth brain. Same says nothing. She's not a smooth brain, though. Dog fella says nothing. No thinking. Okay. Another Sylvan Sprite. Alright, I don't remember how to do this one. I think the sheep are lined up by color. Room. Oh. There we go. Uh. Is it the sheep first? It might be the sheep first. So I think it's. Tip tap. Okay. Why isn't it? There we go. I think it's the white sheep first and then the gray sheep. A slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. Stop saying that! Hi, dog. Why are you here? We're gonna just pick up this mushroom. Oh. Dog is thinking. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, sniff, bark. Sometimes I grow weary of barking all the time, but a dog's gotta do what a dog's gotta do, what a dog's gotta do do. 
Back, back, back. Back, 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 back. Very eloquent. Nicely put, dog fella. Yeah, I read that in the book. Tap, tip, tap. Oh, I like that he just lounges by the lake. Hi, dog Bella. Kind of uncomfortable going this way, even though that stone door is locked. There it is. Okay, I don't remember this one. I know I saw it. Thank you, camera angle. Always so helpful. Okay. Oh, birds. spoke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box surrounded by three rain-soaked songbirds. We certainly did. Uh... What was that sound? I've seen the Scythians sing a song of sorcery and send three sylvan sprites skyward. I wonder if they will help soothe the storm? Whoa, Logfella is freaking out about something. I wonder what's up. I'll just head outside leaving B for a bit. I kind of wish I knew more about the Scythians' compelling and epic backstory, because I bet it would make sense of everything. Still, there's something strange about how the Scythian behaved, almost as if she was being controlled by an unseen force. Pretty wacky! So Logfell is freaking out. Oh, I, I didn't mean to tip tap the firewood. <laughs> Dog just goes splash splash. Nothing new. Why were you watching me? Same stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfella was freaking out about something or other. We'll deal with him for you. We'll give him a big snack. Relax, you're freaking her out. Oh, you are freaking out. The woeful woodsman known as Logfella was totally freaking out about something. Apparently Logfella had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall to block the old road to Mengita. We were like grown, not another fetch crest, am I right? Logfella told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Logfella said he thought he had lost his key in the twilight realm of dreams. We had heard about the strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk of the Caucasus, so this made perfect sense to us. Yeah, totally. Logfella invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. Okay. Uh, sit. No. Sit. Sit? No. Sit. Sit. What? Oh, my goodness. Sit. There we go. Oh, I'm a fast snoozer. The Twilight Realm of Dreams, huh?
stream. Okay, I will. Oh my god. I forgot about the bear with weird nipples. Observe. I'm I'm watching. Oh my god. I sure hope the dreamwalking Scythian can find my lost key. I lost it on the sandy shore of the placid lake. Oh nuts, where's my key gone? I'm so upset and ashamed, so now I'm totally freaking out. Oh whoa, I wish it wasn't raining outside. I wish my boots weren't so wet. I wish I could go back to my chopping wood. Seek a warm hearth and allow sleep to come to discover the threshold of liminality. The threshold of liminality is a space in between wakefulness and dreams where directive thought is impossible. We think of wakefulness and the mythopoetic psychocosmology of dreams as separate slates. However, they interoperate in curious ways. Excuse me, please stop talking like this. I am smooth brain. I forgot what's this way. Oh, a deer. And bunnies. Goodbye. And then there's a mushroom here. I think the mushrooms heal us. I don't really remember, though. Oh, yeah! In a secluded grove, we met a mysterious fellow hanging out beside a crackling fire. I think this is supposed to be uh, the guy who made the music for the game. Same text. I like his little song. Oh, sorry, dear. Didn't realize you're back. Oh, there he is. Just grooving. Nipples out. I have too many mushrooms. No space. The key. this little song in my head for ages. Just a few little notes that loop over and over. I wonder what that's about. Uh. Oh, where'd this chair come from? God, that man's spooky. Sneep time. to the hut. Ugh. Oh, the little wake-up animation's cute. The woodsman was super relieved that we had managed to retrieve his key from the twilight realm of dreams. The woodsman, known as Logfella, wondered how we got so smart, and he asked us about our woeful errand. 
We told the woodsmen how we had come of age on the steppes alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfellow why we wandered here in this mountain wilderness, and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. We told Logfell about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the Megatome might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more sylvan sprites to soothe the storm. In a hushed whisper, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfella had stopped paying attention. What a jerk! We figured we could just hang on to the key and go for a walk on the old road beyond the stone wall. Screw you, hey. Logfella. Oh no. We gotta skip through this. This is too much words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the key. Yeah. Will the dog come with me, please? I asked the Scythian point blank about her willful errand. She started talking about the steps and the finger of God. <laughs> I must have nodded off at some point during the Scythian super epic story. I have a really low tolerance for lore. I'm totally cool with the Scythian hanging onto the key if it means she's going to soothe the storm. Didn't hear anything I said. Finger of God, some steps. What a jerk. Oh, dog is coming with us. Yay. Oh, wait. Let's talk to Sami. What are you doing down here? We met Same standing rain-soaked on a side path. She had heard the subtle sonorous spumes of the sylvan sprites from beyond the stone wall on the old road to Mengita. She spoke of towering tree trunks on either side of a mighty river. She spoke of faint rainbows at the edge of the perilous precipice. And then she grew fearful and told us to consult the Megatome if we became lost or confused. How does she know all this? Dog fella goes bark bark bark. Bark bark. Alright, we're in wolf territory now. I like his little glinting three eyes. He's so chonky. Come on. There we go. We're gonna have to whack you. Whap. Oh, that was... That was fast. Whap. Whap. I'm chasing you. Get back here. Oh, he's so fast. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, the waterfall is very loud. Now it's not. Um. Tree trunks, right? Big ones, small ones, big ones, small ones. So, 
pretty sounding. Just spoke a slumbering sylvan sprite beside a stolen log bridge where four pairs of trees tower above a river. He stole it a word? Stole it must be a word, right? It's not solid. It's, uh, got me. Yeah! Logfella says, the storm has really been getting me down. It makes me wish that video games existed in whenever this is supposed to be. I sure hope the Scythian is on the case with the whole Sylvan Sprite thing. Of course I am, Logbella. One or two more Sylvan Sprites sent skyward will soon seat the storm, and then it will be a time of miracles. Okay, that sounds kind of creepy sounding. I forgot I'm full. Um, in the next area, I think. Music's getting a little sinister. I do remember this one. Oh. Did not mean to sit. Get up. Alright, so we have to highlight these rainbows. a slumbering sylvan sprite between two loathsome rainbows by the side of the perilous precipice. Back we go. Such a long way back. Alright. What are you guys thinking? You know, whenever I feel like I need to gather my strength, I just sit down beside this here hearth to warm my boots. Hmm? I'm getting the case of the heebie-jeebies. Something's definitely happening. Is the storm starting to lift? Whoa, what? The sheep in the meadow have taken fright. I wonder what's happening over there. Could it be the gold trigon? The rain has started to ease and the sky seems to be brightening. Is it a time of miracles? I sure hope so. I love miracles. This whole storm thing has really been getting me down. It has been so gloomy. Everything has been totally mental since the Scythian showed up. That's true, you guys probably had a pretty normal life. Sorry about that. Can we play some music or something? So my trip is funner? Wait, why didn't the dog come with me the whole way? It's so lonely. Doggy? Doop-da-doop-da-doop-da-doop. Warbox. 
walking back to the hut. Do 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 do. Oh, why is the music all sinister? Oh, there's Doggy. Are you gonna come with us? No? Okay. Another worthless sheep. Why do we keep looking at it? Why are we so mean to the sheep? Just be nice. They're so cute. The little tails are wagging. We asked Same about the worthless sheep hanging out around the hut, and she said they had taken fright a little while ago. We told Same we had sent five sylvan sprites skyward, and she told us that perhaps a time of miracles was at hand. We thought that maybe we ought to go investigate the meadow where the sheep used to be. Ding 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 ding. Okay, time of miracles. Hey old man, are you feeling that peculiar vibe? It is a time of miracles. Sing a song of sorcery and look up to the looming angry birds. Once the sun is in alignment, you'll be granted the miraculous folden abilities of the great wizard Al Hafe. What? I don't know what that man's talking about at any point. Bird? Oh. Oh, okay. Into the hoop. Ding dong. And then, uh, you guys are glowing. That's cool. Alright, we're just gonna launch that hoop. They're kissing. Hello, Triangle. Oh, the lake looks so cool. Look at the stones. That looks awesome. Look to the heavens for some oblique insight into the workings of this miracle in the meadow, and then behold the gold trigon. Oh, I'm beholding it. Time to battle a shape. Okay, I think I remember how to fight this thing. Kinda.
got the gold trigon. We are so awesome. Again, what a bold statement. Bravo! You have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm has lifted and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm, so that's totally awesome. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Pat myself on the back. Sh note, should you choose to continue the Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP experiment, those aforementioned qualities will be challenged and evaluated. In any case, let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here when you're ready to begin Session 3. Okay, so I'll see you guys at Session 3. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye!